is Ashley Robertson. I'm a fourth grade teacher at Lake Park Elementary. The class demographic that you're observing today um, is heterogeneously grouped. So I have gifted, gifted learners, ESC students, students with 504 accommodations. So I have a really good mix of students in both of my classes. So the way that I kind of look at it, I really do appreciate how Marzano puts an emphasis on the learning goals and skills. Um, and I think at the beginning when you're first kind of learning about Marzano, I didn't quite understand where he was going with that. But the biggest piece is they know exactly what the end goal is. They know exactly what they need to do to achieve it. They know exactly how they're gonna be learning with those mathematical practices and process standards. They know exactly what they need to do, the evidence of it, um, and the end goal in mind. So, I plan with the end goal in mind. I know that by the end of this unit, you have to know A, B, C, D, E, all of this stuff. This process that we do at the beginning of every unit, this is the planning piece where I show you guys what my plan is. Because it wouldn't be fair for me to just teach you guys what I felt like teaching you, right? If you came in one day, I'm like, okay, we're doing subtraction because I said so. No, and I, the way that I plan it is we have a specific game plan. Because I know there are certain pieces that you guys have to show me in order for me to know, oh, they got this stuff, okay? So that's why we do the learning goals and skills. This learning goal, is this really like a specific skill or is it a how to do math? Do you think it's like a how to or is it like a specific thing like division? What do you guys think is more along the lines of, Robbie? A how to. A how to. So at the top of this, we're gonna write how we learn. It's a learning process. Kira, you ready to go? So learning goal 13 is a how we learn. It's one of those mathematical practices that we put into play. I think when you actually can get into the learning goals and the scales and allow the students to have that chance to buy in, then you then you really see right? the effort. So you can't be a three without having everything from a two. And you can't be a four without having everything from a three and a two, right? Okay, point to where it says zero. That's gonna be mine in about two seconds, Travis. Okay. All right, so for all of the learning goals, if you can't do any of that, even when I'm helping you, that's zero. Now, are we even gonna focus on that? No. No, because that's not where we're gonna be. Okay, let's look at the one. It says, with help, I can demonstrate some success with the twos and the threes. But what's the biggest thing here for a one? It says, with what? Help. With help. Now, do you think that I'm gonna give you those grades the first day that we're getting into the unit? Yeah. Would, that fair, would that be fair if I'm teaching you guys? And day one, if you can't do it on your own, you're a one, is that fair? No. No, obviously in the beginning, I have to help you, right? That's why I'm a teacher. <laughs> so we're gonna be learning, 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 and then when it's time for you to work independently, that's when this stuff comes into play. Right, Will? Yes. Okay, let's go to the two. You ready? All right. Point to where it says learning goal 13 on your paper. Point to where it says learning So it allows us to all kind of be on the same page um, with where we're going. And um, for those students who would probably shut down and, you know, complex lessons and things like that, having this day almost per prevents that in some, some ways because they know that, okay, I'm going to have X amount of chances to learn this skill or she's going to teach me this. So they don't have to know it already. They know that they're going to be in the process of learning that. So that's really the benefit of a day like today. That's why I think it's a really good investment um, to spend one of my lessons kind of going through all of that, to spend the time making those resources for them um, because I've seen, I've seen it really pay off in the end for my students, for myself, and for their families as well.